We all have those times in life where we could do with a bit more money and the same happened in FIFA Ultimate Team as well. So this video is going to give you seven steps into making coins on FIFA Ultimate Team. If you like this video, make sure you do press that like button. Comments and suggestions for any other video in that comment section below. Subscribe if you're new and I hope this helps you. Step one, play games. I know, I know it sounds silly and stupid and it, it is the simplest and easiest way to make coins. You've got so many variations of what you can play. You can play squad battles, you can play foot champs, you can play rivals and you get match coins for playing those games. So as you see on your screen, you can get match coins for different performances, goals, uh, possession, and so on. And you get a maximum. You can get maximum coins for each one. Now the maximum of match coins is 570, and that's without any deductions like goals against or cards. And then you get those match coins, and then you get a multiplier. Now this multiplier can range between 0.5 and 1.13. Now this gets affected uh, when you rage quit. So the more often you rage quit, the lower that multiplier range will be. So you get that 570 max times by 1.13 if you got if you're lucky enough to have the max multiplier range, and then you get a completion reward which is 325 coins. And the way they work this out, so people can leave, you can get wins, uh, they'll rage quit. So you'll get the 325 coins, and what they'll do, they will times 325 by 90, and then divide that by the minutes played. So 325 times 90, that that's calculated, then divided by, I don't know, 45 minutes because your opponent left at half time. And then you get a maximum coins of... 960 roughly and if you play 10 games you've you've got 9k easy simple lovely no stress you're playing the game which is what you've bought the game to do essentially and then you can buy players to improve your team lovely and for you get rewards for playing these games as well squad battles you get packs you get coins foot champs you get coins you get packs you get untradeable red player picks rivals you can get coins you can get tradable packs or you can get untradeable packs and obviously if you want to make coins um, you want to take the coins but obviously if you want to have a bit of fun and make coins you take the packs because you're still going to be making coins and you do have that possibility of reaching a high-end player like Mbappe like a Neymar like a Messi like a Ronaldo maybe even an icon if you're lucky enough step two objectives now I know they're untradeable rewards, you only get XP for season progress and you get untradeable rewards through the season progress, but you can get packs and these packs can allow you to get good players that you can stack your club with. Uh, you also get players in the season progress at the end, so you, this year or this season you get either Bashuai or Perisic. You also got a Footmus Santi Cazorla and you also got a Footmus Fabian Delph with also icon player Zidane. Now, obviously, using these players, they could be upgrades to what you've got, and then you can go back play games, and because you've got an improved player, you're more likely to get more coins because you're playing better. However, this these objectives, because they're untradeable and you're stacking your club with the players, this leads on to... Step 3. Squad building challenges. Now, I know there's, there's multiple, multiple, numerous and various squad battles out there, and... Really, you just got to kind of find the ones that are profitable. So you've got all these player of the months that there's no point in even attempting to do these unless you want them as an upgrade and you, they fit in your team. So, for example, I've got Marne, Werner and Adelaide to do. I'm not going to do them because, one, they're not profitable for me un unless I got really lucky and got an icon or something. But you don't want to leave your chances of making coins based on luck. And I'm not going to do these three because they don't fit my team. They don't improve my team and it'll just be a waste of coins for me. But then you've got such um, you've got such SBCs such as marquee matchups that come out every Thursday at 6pm. And you get five packs from that and they usually cost about 15k. Now, even if it costs a bit more, you're bound to at least make back what you spent on the SBC. And 
the majority of the times you are still going to be making coins from these SBCs if you make sure you list all the players up and then they sell. Even if you quick sell the majority of them, I'm sure you still make 10k. Step 4. Sniping. Now, this one, it gets a bit more difficult because there's so many ways that you can snipe. There's different filters that you can do when sniping. And if you want me to, I can do a following video preceding this video on sniping and maybe tips and tricks on how to snipe, what players to snipe, uh, and different items that you can snipe. Now, you have to be patient when doing this. That is one of the main things of sniping, being patient. And you kind of have to have a reasonable understanding of the market. And again, I can go through this step by step step in a following video, uh, kind of enlightening you how to snipe and how to go about sniping. Step five, investing. Now, this is much more complicated than any of the other steps that I'm going to give you. But essentially, you're investing in players for like say team of the week you're kind of predicting who's going to be in the team of the week you're going to be buying their cards because those cards are going to be going out of packs so there's going to be less cards on the market but higher demand because they're not on the market and this is going to drive those prices up so you want to do this before the team of the week's announced because everyone's going to start rising a price up for the players and you want to kind of do it Maybe even on a Sunday, because that's, that's kind of when the market's more or less at its lowest. And you want to kind of predict who's going to be in the team of the week. So, for example, this week there is a Grealish. So, I imagine that his base card's going to be a bit more expensive than it was last week. And there, you've got, the thing is, you've got to understand the market to be able to do this. And it takes time. I don't fully understand the market, but I've got a base knowledge that helps me make money from things such as SBC investing, uh, market appreciation, appreciation. So when the market, knowing when the market's at its lowest, and knowing that on Thursdays players are going to be more expensive because there's rewards and people are going to have money, so they can spend more on getting those players. You, investing can also be SBCs, like I just said. So for marquee matchups, under like kind of predicting who's going to be in the marquee matchup. So it's not going to be Man United versus Norwich because that's not a, that's not a big game. But if it was Man United versus Liverpool, Man United versus Man City, it will probably be in the marquee matchups. So you got you just got to kind of FIFA is related to real world football, and knowing that you could probably make money in Ultimate Team. So, but again, you've just got to be patient with these and learn the market and learn how to work the market because then you could even go into flipping icons, flipping players. Oh, okay, icons are cheapest on Tuesdays and they're more expensive on Friday. So, I'm going to buy Inzaghi on this Tuesday, but I'm going to set him Friday and I'm going to make like 50k. Step six the bronze pack method. Now, this is one of my favorite ways to make coins because. You're opening packs, and opening packs is fun. I know you're not going to get an icon or whatever, but it is quite exciting sometimes. Oh, that, that bronze player is going for something. I've made quite a few coins in this pack, and the likelihood that you make coins for this pack is quite high. Um, there's very little risk, because there are only 400 coins, these packs, and you get nearly four players, and if they all sell for 200, you've doubled your price already, your, your coins already, and... Um, yeah, it is a good way because sometimes you find little gems because certain SBCs are out that you might not necessarily know about. Be like, oh, okay, he goes for 1,200 coins. I've just tripled my coins that I spent. And uh, it's, it's a very good way to make coins. It is a bit tedious sometimes because obviously you're not going to be making a million in a day. It, it, again, another thing, a lot of these steps just take a bit of patience and patience pays off most times and the more you do it the easier it will get and the more you will learn so bronze pack method is definitely one that i'd recommend doing because it's not that difficult either it's probably one of the easier steps granted it might take a while but it's worth it in the end step seven giveaways 
Now, I know this is a bit of a lacklustre one, and it's not all about what you can do, but there's so many giveaways for FIFA points online. Just put your name into these. I mean, the chances of you winning a lot of them are probably quite slim, but if you don't buy a ticket, you won't win the lottery. And you, you never know, you might win some of these, and then you've got FIFA points to spend, and that will just translate transition into coins, and you're making coins for free, essentially, because people are giving away things just to promote their channel. That has been seven steps and how to make money in FIFA 20 Ultimate Team. Let me know how much money you have made through doing these steps if you are going to follow them. And if I, if you do want me to do a sniping video just to show you how to snipe, how I snipe, what filters to put on, let me know in that comment section. Like the video, subscribe if you're new, and I'll catch you in a bizzle. I'm just so fed up with these expectations Hey, you weigh me down My heart is begging me to get the hell out of my head I wanna live inside the upside